1.2 trillion dollars. It's hard to imagine anything could cost that much money. But that's what the U.S. government spent on contracts and grants just in 2009. The federal government has a tremendous responsibility to spend this money wisely and not waste valuable taxpayer dollars. As representatives of the government, you must do all you can to ensure sound award decisions that protect taxpayer funds. Contractor past performance is a key consideration when making awards. But with all the sources contracting and grants officials must seek out for contractor information, it can be difficult and time-consuming to get a complete picture of each prospective awardee's performance and integrity. Now, there's a better way. The new Federal Award E Performance and Integrity Information System, or FAPIS, consolidates data from multiple contractor information and past performance systems and other sources, giving you an extensive view of contractor performance and integrity over the last five years. In 2009, the National Defense Authorization Act mandated the development of a database that would improve the availability of contractor information and encourage greater consideration of contractor integrity and performance when awarding contracts and grants. This resulted in the April 2010 launch of FAPIS, which pulls data from PEEPERS, CCR, EPLS, and FPDS. For awards over the simplified acquisition threshold, the FAR requires contracting and grants officers to review and analyze contractor information in FAPIS before making responsibility determinations and award decisions. Officials must also document non-responsibility determinations in FAPIS. These requirements benefit both the government and taxpayers. The centralized access to information streamlines the contractor review process. This ultimately helps contracting and grants officers make better award decisions that are less likely to end in waste, fraud, or abuse of taxpayer dollars by unreliable or non-responsible contractors. The FAPIS search module on PEEPERS allows contracting and grants officials to review past performance evaluations, civil, criminal, and administrative proceedings, suspensions and debarments, non-responsibility or recipient not qualified determinations, terminations for default, cause, or material failure to comply, defective pricing determinations, and administrative agreements issued in lieu of suspensions and debarments. Analyzing this information in relation to specific grants and acquisitions helps form reasonable expectations of a contractor's future performance. The consolidated information in FAPIS makes it a valuable tool for making informed responsibility determinations. Using the FAPIS input module on CPARS, contracting and grants officers must document any determinations of non-responsibility, defective pricing, and terminations. The contract file must include the rationale behind the determinations and any resulting actions. In addition, suspending and debarring officials, or SDOs, must enter information on administrative agreements into FAPIS. And contractors must enter information into FAPIS via the CCR pertaining to civil, criminal, and administrative proceedings. This information becomes part of FAPIS searches, which helps other contracting and grants officers with award decisions. Remember, FAPIS was created to provide greater access to critical contractor information, helping ensure contracts and grants are awarded to contractors of the highest quality and integrity. As a government representative, you owe your best effort to taxpayers. As a taxpayer, you owe it to yourself. FAPIS is a required part of that effort and your ultimate responsibility to spend taxpayer money wisely. Watch the Federal Acquisition Institute's website www.fai.gov for upcoming training on effectively applying information available in FAPIS to award decisions and responsibility determinations. For more information on FAPIS, visit the PEEPERS and CPARS websites.